Hello everybody, welcome back to another weekly vlog for 2018. What the hell? So you joined me on the 1st of January and it is currently 25 past 2. I woke up at 1pm. That's literally the latest I've literally gotten up in like ever. Um, basically I didn't go to sleep and um, we didn't get in until 1am last night because we went up to New Year's Eve. If you've seen that vlog then you know that we didn't get back until 1am. And then I didn't go to sleep until half one. Um, and then I just didn't make up until 1pm. So I have only been like an hour and 25 minutes. But I've had my dinner and my nan and she do go. I'm going to come over for tea because every year we do New Year's Day tea. We never do dinner just because like, people never really get up. Um, at dinner time for New Year's Eve, um, so we just do like dinner at tea to set. Um, I don't know what time they're coming, um, but what time they're coming? Okay. So, um, yeah, I can't believe it's 2018. Can't wait to bring you guys along with me because that's going to be mint. And I don't know what 2018 holds, but apart from college, I don't really know. Ooh, that's my liar. I'm currently saving New Year's Eve's vlog. Um, it's on 30%, and I'm gonna go upstairs because I'm gonna bring my present bag upstairs and sort it out because like it's just in way down here. We have oh. hello. hello. We have um the calendar. Look. What it looks like. Look at Dougal. Look how cute he is. So yeah, I'll show you like um each picture when it becomes the month if you get that in. We're not gonna take his Christmas tree down until like the sixth, I think. Because that's generally like the rule of taking it now. So I'm gonna try my best to take this massive bag upstairs. But oh and sort it out and then I'm going to come down after I've gotten changed and sort <gasps> tea out so yeah I oh, don't know what I'm doing naked that's what we're doing today I'm trying to get this upstairs yay Whew. Ready. Uh, I'm not gonna put no makeup on because, like, I don't know. Just like, I'm gonna be one of them true days today. Uh, Rich has got radio on in the background. I'm just gonna shut my curtains. Um, Mum's gone to sleep for an hour. Um, and it's ten past four. Four. Um, we're gonna take these noisy herbs upstairs in a minute and Richard um, just because uh, Dougal doesn't like it and yeah. um, bothers my nana with a really because she's deaf um, I'm going to move this table and stuff because like some people can sit down and whatnot so I'm going to do that in a minute but yeah um, I've just gotten my I've just done my hair which was just like a minute ago um, I've got this top jump on, what's this oh dear. and this is because like, I feel like this will be the last time I'm going to be there with this Miss Jumper, but yeah, that's what we're doing, um, so I'm going to do that now, I've just been doing some intros for uh, BRTV, I've done one for Sport of Amtan, this one, I've just done, this one is 
community news and then I just need to do brands of focus and then I'm pretty much done and I can give it to them next Monday. So yeah. I don't know if I should put a headband on or not because like, my hair's gonna get in my way. Definitely not there. But yes, I thought to stop a day at you. Um, is this into football because I think like foot is, is Kings playing Sheffield United? I'm not into percent sure. But yeah. So I'm gonna go and I'll probably see you when everybody's here. And then yeah, we're not gonna have too much for the TV because like I don't know. It's because we're not hungry. <laughs> but yeah. So do you want to talk about Sorry, Richard? Half eight. Um, and I've for ages because, mm -hmm. like, um, we've just been chilling out oh, this kitchen. We've had everything, we've had his tea, things like that. My nan and I'm doing here. We have two gay. I'll come and show you. If I can. There they are. So, yeah. So Nan and Auntie and Dougie have left now. It's nine PM and me and Mum are upstairs because we're gonna fetch the birds back down. Oh, are they all in here? Yeah. Oh, is July still in my bedroom? No, I've got July. Where are they? I we have one here. Yeah, been so bad. Missed you. Wait, open the door, say. Mia? It's door open. Right. I don't think downstairs one is. Oh, you say. Hello, welcome to Tuesday's part of this vlog. So it's 20 past 12. Um, I've been awake since about 11 um, and I've been into my mum's bedroom because we've been tidying like the bags up like on the back of our bedroom doors we hang our bags up like bags, backpacks, anything really and the means waiting for them to see if we want to keep them or get rid of them please do excuse the purse. Um, I've also come down with a cold, which I'm very much not excited about. Excuse me! Um, I basically normally always get a cold every Christmas. Um, I start like Christmas Eve night and I didn't. And then I was like, okay, I'll get it Christmas Day. It never did. Um, and then... I went for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, New Year's Day, New Year's Day without a cold and now I came down the one. But you know, I've been the main days so I'm glad I went ill for them. But it's just a bit annoying in a way. But um, yeah, it's 25th so I'm going to see my great nan in about half two with my nan and my moon. Which I'm very much excited about. Two sacks! Two black sacks! Of a bag is what you don't want. Yeah. Or what we don't want. What's good to charity? Yes. Oh, so we're taking the Christmas tree down on the 6th, if you're wondering. Um, so yeah, that's why, like, if you see, like, this eye, like, it's red. Kind of. It's just because, like, I've been itching it and stuff. So. That's yeah. absolutely persistent, So, it. Here we go, half past five, and um, we're back from seeing, from seeing Great Nan, I can't speak, um, and we have some news that isn't good, but in a sense it's good, we just don't know, we're just in the state, basically, um, we, my mum and Nana got told about a DNR which is do not resuscitate which means um, if she would have if she was to have a heart attack or a stroke or any like major thing happen to her 
space could just leave it to die and not like do CPR or anything like that. Um, just because she's getting weaker and her age, she's got dementia, and just for like in the future in case it does happen. Um, so we have to like we don't sign it. My nan has to sign it, but like she doesn't have to like when not forcing her or anything like that. Like, but the doctors are forcing us to sign it, like pretty much straight away, and we're like, but we need time. But yeah, we're just in an emotional state right now. Um, my mum's in an emotional state. She's like, yeah. Um. So yeah, it's just been one of them days where we went in knowing she had a reinfection to come out, basically it's killing her off in a way. But um, we just need time to think, my nana needs to tell Auntie Dawn tonight about it and it's my nana's decision at the end of the day, um, so we can't make it, um, but it's just like really hard because like if you don't want to do that but then again you don't want it to suffer and things like that but it's not our choice it's my nanans and whatever choice she makes obviously we're going to be with her we're not going to like argue anything like that about it so yeah i just want to let you guys know because obviously you're part of our life and this is our life and not every day is going to be a good day but we're pushing through and trying to move on and trying our best um I'm just going to put the lights on because, like, to hopefully cheer the mood up. I'm just going to put it there for now. But, yeah, it's just took, like, a massive shock to us and we wasn't expecting it. Because, obviously, you don't you never expect anything like that to happen to any of our family members but yeah <laughs> anyway that's all we know it's just a shock sat here having a talk about life and contemplating things but we need to eat even though we don't feel like eating because it's half five and we need to eat <laughs> So we're hoping to eat. I'm sure we will. Mum feels sick, but that's because she's in shock. So yeah. Hello everybody and welcome to Wednesday's part of this vlog. So it's currently 11.50 and I woke up about 10 minutes ago um, from a nightmare or like a bad dream, there we go you can see me, from a nightmare um, so that was fun <laughs> but obviously I needed to get up anyway because it's 11.50 um, and I'm going to go downstairs, obviously we're going to be having dinner soon um, but I'm so mad at myself because I didn't get a calendar for my bedroom for this year. Like, what the fudge? Like, I've still got, like, last year's calendars up. So I've got my Joe so Guam, my, um, dog one. Where is it? You can see it. Um, and then my Sukuni Jewel is one is over there. Um... Oh my god, I'm so mad that I didn't get one from this year. So I've still got um, my calendars up from last year. So I'm going to have to go on Saturday um, to the calendar club and get three more calendars. Just because, like, I don't know if I need three and not just one. But I'm going to get three. <laughs> um, I don't know what I want yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. And obviously I'll vlog it and stuff like that. But yeah. Just wanted to let you know what time it is and things like that. Um and today I don't even know what we're doing. Like we're not really much we're not doing much today. Um but I'll still vlog because it's a weekly vlog. 
um, I need to charge you guys. Um, obviously I've had dinner and then I asked my mum what we're doing today but I don't think we're actually going out of the house. But yeah. I need to put, excuse me, some of this moisturiser on because I put some of this on yesterday and I just started using it yesterday. Um, this is a clean and clear dual action moisturiser um, just because it helps prevent spots and blemishes and I have like quite a lot of like, you, you can't see in this camera but I have like, quite a lot of spots and stuff. So I started this yesterday so I'm going to put some more on today um, and then go downstairs have dinner I need to find my diary um, for 2018 because I, I want to put like um, birthdays in and events so yeah that's what I'm going to do so I will see you probably after dinner and I'll let you know what we're doing even if it's just sat there doing that for I'm still let you know let's go so we're just in town and it's like honestly it's like a ghost town really like we were just been saying in car that like, everybody having it for 11 months because you never see anybody in bars uh, until December and then everybody comes out of their beds <laughs> but um, we're in town because we've got two massive sacks I've got one, my mum's got one and we're going to go to Rita's Art Foundation we are um, to take take um, and then um, I'm going to get three calendars and that one I'm looking at and then um, I've lost my debit card as well, <laughs> my mum's lost it as well, so it's actually quite funny that we're both lost Oh, so they do have a card for me. Yeah, they do. <laughs> she's always losing her debit card. Oh. Like, all the time, like, we must be like, oh, she's here again. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know how it is. I thought it was my unicorn purse. I just looked at my unicorn purse and it's not here. So I'm like, wait. <laughs> So I'm going to have to get a new one, but I've got to have ID and I don't have any other kind of ID except that debit card and obviously I've lost it. So, this year, this year, um, I'm going to get a passport because next year we're thinking, <laughs> hey hey, um, to, where is it? Dubai? Or Dublin? Dublin. Dublin. Dubai. Dubai. Yeah. <laughs> Dubai. We're going to, um, we're going, oh, we're going to Dublin. We're going to Dublin. Um, for <laughs> it's it at men. That's not. We're going to um, Dublin um, for my auntie's 40th birthday in 2019, and that obviously involves a plane. <laughs> I have never been on a plane. Wait, don't matter if I've been in an airport. It's not in England. It's not in England, so we've got to get on a plane, which I've never been on. Uh, very. I'm excited. I'm excited but nervous about it because, like, I think it's going to be okay, but I don't know. I've never been to another country before. <laughs> have you? I've not been anywhere. Oh, big soldiers. She's been to Disney. She's been I've to been Disney. To France, without me. She's been to Disney. France. How dare you? Disneyland Paris. Not Disneyland. Yeah, but you still went to Disney. And I've been without to me. Belgium. I just took you to Disney. Did I? Yeah. I always do. I know you do. Anyway, that's just update. <laughs> So we arrived at B and M because my headphones didn't even last past this mess. <laughs> um, so we're going to take them back and hopefully, um, what do you call it, exchange them? So, yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Go. Hopefully, fingers crossed it works. One of the like the buttons for the Bluetooth has like. Like, I don't know what you want to call it, like, 
gone in and like you can't press it it's broken basically so we're going to find if we can exchange them fingers crossed we'll let you know the update so I have got some wireless headphones but I couldn't get the exact same just because they didn't have any so I've got some wireless headphones that were the same price as what the other ones were but I just couldn't get the exact same ones just a shame because I can't I really like them because they lit up and things like that and then um with my because like they took that off like the 14.99 i got like some smaller ones what you put in your ear for then like if you go on the bus and stuff which hopefully will be this year <laughs> i will be going on the bus oh and she goes out coach at christmas and mommy goes to sleep yeah <laughs> just like buy the headphones there as well um so i will show you them when i get home but right now we're gonna go home uh, Mum's gonna have a cup of tea. She's gonna have a moan at Universal Credit. Um, so that my moan. Yeah, let's go. Thought I would do a haul because I did a read a haul haul on the 30th or the 29th. No idea. And um, I didn't um, import my footage, so I'm sorry about it. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do this haul, I don't know what I'm going to call this haul, but a haul. Um, so, from it works, I got this massive Sell photo frame. Really whoop, whoop, whoop. Mum's tripping over. And basically, you put a picture in here. And then at the bottom you write like whatever you want, so like whatever picture is, so like Christmas, you write Merry Christmas, or Christmas 2017, New Year's Eve 2017. And I think it's a really cool. Let's not take my 2017 car. These are just mops. I think I've kind of got the same. No, they're similar. Yeah, I just haven't got the shiny now. Um, and this was five pound. I can't like show you the price. There we go. Five pound. Just trust me, it's five pound. Um, and I'm gonna put that in my bedroom because um, I bought two calendars instead of three just because like I saw that at last minute. I did have three calendars in my hand. Um, and then I was like, you know what? That's better. <laughs> so. Oh, guess what I found? My. Oh, I thought you were mine. Oh. Mum's found a debit card. What are you doing in there? I've got mine. Mine could be in mine. I ain't cut back to the wheel, I think. Anyway, um, I got this calendar. This is pipe size pouches. I got this um, last year as well. And I loved it because it's so cute with the dog. It's like, the dog are so cute. This dog is so cute. Like, they like puppies and different dog breeds. Um, oh. So, this one is for Officer Tobias Nineteen. This was £1.50. Um, the RRP, which is the recommended retail price, was £12. But at the work it was three pounds and then on the sale it was one pound fifty. So I think oh, that's an amazing deal. And it comes with a gal, which I've already got one, so I'll just give that to somebody. Oh that bit! And then I got this one which is changing its season. Um, again the recommended retail price is seven pounds and then at the work it was two pounds, but I got it on sale for a pound. And I got this one because I'm, I'm always getting like animals um, because I love animals. But I thought this was really, really pretty. Like it's just got different like photos of like flowers and different like seasons. So like the centre has got like, a flower with like some snow on it. Um, and like April's got like rain kind of thing. And I just thought it was really, really cool. I love it quite a lot. Um, so I'm very excited about that. So like I said, I'm going to have two. And then I'm going to have that photo away. And then from work. Then from work. 
much. And then the last place I went to was the and then I got my the headphones, which I was on about in the car. These are quality wireless headphones. And I got um red ones that are red, blue and black and I like red better. Um it's forty ninety-nine. I got these for free because my other ones work. And one of the buttons broke off it, like the middle button for Bluetooth. So this is the wireless, it's got a microphone and it didn't come with like a wire because like I hate um wire kind of things. So I'm very much excited. And it's compatible with um mobile devices, tablets and computers, which I think is a good idea. And these are very similar to ones what which you've got. And then for like travelling and like yeah travelling or going on holiday, I've got these ones. These are by iFit. And these are wireless <coughs> earphones. Flat cord, tangle free, up to four hours playing time, built in mic for calls, Bluetooth, and these are $19.99. And you open it up and these is what it looks like. So basically that like, the hook on. I've never really had any of these. I've seen them loads of times. I thought it was really good for like um travelling and things like that. So you can like answer calls, you can listen to music and overall you can enjoy it. I think it's good. So yeah, this again in pink, blue and black. Um obviously I like the pink. And um, again, they're compatible with computers, tablets, and mobiles. And again, these are $19.99, and then I got these for free, so I don't have to pay for these. So, yes, I'll uh, test these out, let you know how they are. And yeah, so that is my cool sales haul. So now we're home, and um, we can sit here, play with these, see if they work, hopefully, they do, because I really can't be to go back and get some more. Um, and yeah, so it's four, no, it's not four, it's 3 45. And yeah, I'm going to drink my lemonade because I'm very thirsty. So, yeah. That was long. I just finished filming a uh, best and worst makeup of 2017. I'm going to get that edited, saved, and I'm going to upload it to mum. Uh, I'm going to upload it tomorrow but it will be scheduled until next Wednesday so look forward to that. I am anyway because I had fun filming it and I got the idea on a bunch of other YouTubers so can't take credit for it but you know it's all fun and games. Hello everybody, welcome to Thursday's part of this vlog. So it's currently 20 past 2 and I ain't had a good like, start of the day. Um, I haven't been well this morning. Well, this afternoon. Um, but that's a word. Yeah. Before um, birds start attacking uh, some other car, I'm thinking it's a bird. Basically, um, I was ex I had um a panic attack. Well, I think it was. I don't know. Well, probably was. And um. Yeah, I'm just full of cold now, which I mean I can live with um, the cold, I just can't live with um, panic attacks. But I'm alright now, like it's getting there. Um, if you hear like an annoying background noise when we go back inside, it's um, like a beeping noise, it's because um, the smoke alarm needs changing the batteries. So, um, yeah, Rich is going to do that when it's turn, but it's just really annoying. It's been going off literally all night. Um, I think it's starting to dip me at night. So I've barely had any sleep. I kept stirring it going, what's that noise? And then gone back to sleep. No, no idea. That's fun. 
bit. Oh. We're off now to my nanans and then we're gonna go and see my great nanan. Um so we have put a small probably small one as well. Yeah. Stroke. <laughs> but we never get a small one stroke, do we? Because uh, as soon as we're walking, he's jumping us exactly. and loving us and hugging us. So we don't go in and have a little stroke, we have a uh, mega rug. Yeah. So I'll see you after the hospital and I'll let you know how she is. Yep. So we're home. Just this on. There we go. Um, and it's nearly 5 um, pm. Um, there's been a secret nana and she is improving with everything like. Um, she's done like a week in hospital with like a week of antibiotics and today it's like the last day of her antibiotics um, and she's improving um, so there's hope of like discharge soon she's very much good about that because we want her obviously back in the residential home with all her friends and everything like that but yeah she's improving and I'm very much excited about that because bless her also, it is very much very windy. Right, it's got a full yeah. Storm Eleanor. Really, if it's annoying. No, she's been here three days. Right. Yeah. Um, and she just won't leave us alone. So it's not far. So yeah, sorry about the snow climb as well. Um, I did mention that, but yeah, we're gonna uh, we're just gonna change that when we can get the same because it's very annoying. It won't be too 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 Yes. Because just playing with the swing. <laughs> but yeah, we're home. Which I'm very much glad about. I'm gonna go on my laptop and chill. In a bit. So we didn't go to. E the first or the hospital because whilst we was coming out from Lossy um, healthcare yeah. um, we had a phone call um, it was like a no call ID and then they left a voicemail and it was the hospital to say that my great nan is going home today she is just waiting for transport and medication and she is obviously going back to food so it's brilliant news because Obviously, um, it's better for us there for her to be on uh, because she's got like company and stuff. So, very much happy about that. Um, I think my nan and her auntie are going up on Sunday. I'm not 100% sure. I've just asked my nan now because obviously I've told her and to see if they're going up on Sunday because they would like to save us, uh, me and my mum, to go up because. Um, we've been going up pretty much nearly every day. So, well, custard and donkey. Yeah, they're going up um Sunday. So, yeah. Um, right now we did film. Me and my mum started filming the video yesterday, and then my granddad came. But it didn't really like go to plan this film. It was basically a 2017 recap video. We did one in 2016. And we went to, obviously did one for 2017, but we're going to reform it because it wasn't really too good and we didn't really like it. I think that the fact that we're going down for a minute, I'm going to put Devs. Yeah, I've finished. And then you put Devs in one month, and now we're doing another month. I said, like, oh no, that's months. <laughs> so we're just going to get out work. So I'm going to redo that um, now. After. And hopefully it goes to plan. Don't see my fantastic, fantastic uniform. Don't it on. Mum's new uniform. Sorry about the sun glare. Uh, the glare from the light. There we go. Dashing. I don't know that here. But it does have a black colour by the way, so it's not gonna. Okay, thanks. Right. 
Okay, so it's currently the next morning. It isn't Friday anymore. I haven't vlogged since like Friday afternoon because basically we got um and my great nana has come out of the hospital. She got discharged and she's back um at her care home. And I was going to vlog that until something eventful happened last night. Basically, my mum had a phone call off my auntie and she was involved in a road accident. And before you start, it's not clickbait or anything like that. She's fine, she's alive. Um, her car isn't, her car's dead. Um, because there was that much damage from the lorry that hit her. Hang on. So before we got all the interrupted with the postman, um, I was talking about my auntie. So, ooh, basically my mum got a phone call about, what time? Five? Um, what time? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it was all a blur yesterday. Um, and my auntie was talking to her saying that I'm involved in a car accident, I'm fine, honestly. But with my auntie and my mum, because they're sisters, they're both stubborn. So when they say they're fine, they're not really fine. So we were like, ah, oh, yeah, oh, you say. <laughs> um, we, she, my mum asked where she was and how bad it was and all that blah. Um, basically, she was on Duke's and 36 on the slip road. Um, so she was literally just about to come off the motorway. Um, she was coming home from work. And basically, um, she was in the left hand lane and there was a lorry behind her and because it's very bad in the morning and night on the slip road um, there was like a queue of traffic so a queue of cars and my auntie was like here she was at the sixth car and there was like a lorry that was like trundling along like a massive one trundling along and was like oh I need to be in this lane the white lane come go here Carl comes shooting up, he's like, oh no, I need to go back, and he went bang into Auntie, my Auntie went bam, bam, bang into five cars, and um, hers came out the worst, obviously, and then the one in front has kind of got some damage, but it's not like, you know, too bad, and other cars just like got scruffs and like, but basically my Auntie was shook up, um, and things like that so her car were like here like there it was like just before the slip road or just like, like coming onto the slip road so like it was here and um it was like oh my god so me and my mum went down to my nana because my nana didn't know um because she just found my mum and she went, we went down, picked her, we, we told her that she was in an accident, she's fine, honestly. Um, probably just like bruised and things like that, but we didn't know until we get there. We went straight there and we parked the my mum's car in the way by and then we walked, we walked down on the motorway. Um, on the glass bit. We walked to the scene, there was police there. Um, traffic officer, yeah, traffic officer. Um, we was waiting for an ambulance. She was sat in one of the other cars because she went allowed in her car because it was that damaged. Um, so she was sat in another person's car. There, this woman and man. We're just a woman, or we're a woman and a man. Hello, is that Richard? Yeah. Um. I'll be back right, in I'll Keep getting interrupted when I'm trying to tell a story. Um, <laughs> so basically, um, this was like, we were waiting for an ambulance and there was a, um, a woman and a man who had been looking after my auntie um, to sit her down and calm her down and things like that until we got there. We got there, the police was there, they were saying, oh, you need to move out because like, it's not safe. So we moved back, me and my mum, and then my, my nana was with my auntie, and she was in shock. Um, um, obviously she was crying as well. Um, we hugged her, we said we're here, we're fine, we just went for an ambulance. 
Um, the police um, did what they needed to do. They did all that stuff. Um, the car is like just gone. Like I hope to show you a picture, but and I didn't take my um, camera with me. I didn't take my phone because obviously you don't in that instinct. Um, but basically the front was fine in a way like it weren't as bad as the back and um, the number plate cracked at like hot like a little bit at the end on the front and the back of the car kind of like it was like pushed in i don't know how to explain it because i didn't have a photo it was like it was pushed in like, like crushed crashed i don't know um, the back window screen got um was put out um and it was just like it's just not roadworthy basically <laughs> um it's gone to a thing called wire zoters somewhere like local um and we're, we're not getting it back are we we're not getting it back are we because I don't even know how much it'll cost. I, I don't ask how much it would cost to fix it. Um, so we don't know if we're going to get that car back and like get it like all done and dusted. Oh, my auntie's going to look for another car. But my auntie is fine. She retook, she, uh, she was in, took to a hospital by an ambulance. Um, <laughs> and then we waited in like this waiting room. Um, not like the Amy, but like a different waiting room. There was me and my mum, Nanan, Grandad, and Richard there. Basically, she's come out with um, like carpet burns, like on her forehead where the airbag went off. Um, she got like carpet burns, like a left side. So like she's got like two on the face, one under like her eyebrow, and like one on the cheek kind of area. They're not as bad, like it doesn't look as bad as what it feels. She said it feels so. That's. Uh, uh, that's Coco, is choking on summer. Um, and she has twisted a leg. Um, and that is. It. Oh, and there's like a side, a hip kind of thing where it twisted. Things like that. But other than that, she's fine, she's alive kicking she's um down at my nanans and because luckily with her job she can um work from home and um, obviously she didn't have a car so my mum is the taxi driver <laughs> for the next couple of, days. couple of days um but like i said because she works from home uh, she can work from home and then she doesn't really need to go into work Monday to friday she can just work from home um, she has an appointment on Wednesday that she used to go to. Chiropractor. Yeah. At half four. Yeah. So we need to do that. So yeah. Um, last night was eventful. That, that's the whole reason why I didn't vlog. Um, I'm exhausted now. I think they tried to yeah. knock us out right? this morning. Yeah. And then I tried to talk to Drew. You go up next morning. Not for the eating system's gone. <laughs> I mean, what a start to the brand new year. Mm. So far, it's not going good, is it? <sighs> but my great nana's out from hospital. She's back at to care home. My auntie is fine. The main thing is that she's alive. <laughs> That's the main thing. Um, a car's not, but she is. <laughs> um, so she's just resting up. and We're going to see her anyway this afternoon. Um, because we're going to town anyway so we'll see how she's then but yeah that's the reason why I didn't vlog yesterday I know some YouTubers probably would have vlogged I know quite a lot of people have vlogged when there's been car accidents with the family relatives but I feel like it's just not right to, to vlog um, but I hope you understand um, but I've told you a story so